Hello there, everybody. So, Bonnie and I are getting and welcome back to Danganronpa V3 Killing Harmony. Oh, God. <clears throat> well, <clears throat> uh, Kermie's dead. With the most convoluted. Uh, she. God, she committed the. That was the most convoluted yet almost. That could have been the perfect crime if not for the whole, you know, sh a fragment of her freaking glove had fallen into the pool, as well as the freaking inner tube, but otherwise, my god. That could have been the perfect crime. But damn. And with her motive? Fuck, I don't... I don't blame her. She had the weight of an entire country on her shoulders. I... Damn. Also, Kokichi suddenly revealed that, surprise, Maki is, um, the ultimate assassin. Okay. Oh, boy. What the f- What you're seeing now is live footage of the sky from our camera at the scene. What the fuck? Residents run for cover as an object believed to be a meteorite approaches. I see multiple! You can clearly see the meteors raining down. We are witnessing what looks like the end of the world. The fuck are we watching? This is not a movie. I repeat, this is not a movie. This is live, unedited footage. This is real. The sky is falling before our very eyes. We've just been notified that the government has officially declared a state of emergency. Jesus. Subway stations have been opened as shelters. The government is instructing citizens to remain calm and evacuate to their nearest shelter. Um... Let's... Uh... uh um... Fuck, I don't know how to... I, don't, I can't even make a joke with this. Children and invalids are to be given first priority. Children and invalids?! Transfer student from beyond the grave. Okay. It was the day after the second class trial. We all headed to Maki's lab on the third floor of the school building. And awaiting us there was an unexpected sight. Whoa! Come on, man. Well, what the heck is this? Mm. It's like... Whippin' Warehouse. Right? See, I told you she's not the ultimate child caregiver. She's the ultimate assassin. Maki is the ultimate assassin? Is that alright? Kokichi, you learned that from the Mota video, right? Monokuma said everyone's ultimate talent at the beginning of their video. Ryoma knew Maki's true identity because he had her Mota video. And because you saw that. Mm hmm? Hmm? I knew the whole time. Giving my position, I'm, I'm obviously no before any of you, right? Huh? Y your position? Ah. Oh, don't worry about it. That was a lie. <laughs> anyway, her reaction yesterday pretty much gave away that she's the ultimate assassin. Y yeah, you can probably snap my neck like a twig right now. That's not your style. You would rather kill from the shadows, right, Miss Ultimate Assassin? Hmm. But why ever did she lie about being the ultimate child caregiver? <laughs> Cause assassins had to do all their killing. If people find out they're assassins, they get all cautious and they can't kill anyone. It can't be. Uh, did she hide her real identity because she was planning to kill us? Hmm. But then, why hasn't she killed anyone yet? She has had many opportunities to do so. I'm disappointed. Jeez, robots can't even understand human feelings, let alone a girl's heart. How rude! Please take back what you just said. I too- I can too understand human feelings. Listen closely. But I'm still in the process of collecting data. Please give me data. Please! Right? If you're so worried, why don't you ask her? She's been held up in her room all day. But I can't promise that she won't try to kill you like she tried to do to me. 
<laughs> Good thing everyone was there to stop her, but what about next time? <laughs> Best let sleeping gods lie. <laughs> the talent of a killer. That is the biggest threat to all of us who wish to survive. Hey! <clears throat> Let's just lock her up somewhere so she can't kill anyone. <sighs> I'll leave that to you, Gonta. Huh? Oh, oh! But... Got it! I'll help too. I don't want another killing to happen. Wait! Uh, wait, you don't have to take it that far. It's not like she's trying to kill us. Sneak attack! A sneak attack is the way to go. We have to strike before she does. Hit her from behind! Sneak attack? Strike before she does? Should an Aikido master be saying those things? It'll be okay. If that's the case, then Otto and I will work with everyone to uphold the peace. That's fine. If so, then I'll cheer you on. I'll use my magic to pull pom-poms out of my mouth. What? Wow! Wow, that kind of peppy cheer magic would make anyone excited. Don't worry about it. Uh, hold on, guys. Leave Maki to me. I'll take down that mask of hers. What are you gonna do, wooer? Molten an assassin, my ass. Always messing around. Huh? K Kaito, don't do anything stupid. Okay. Okay, let's leave everything to Kaito. You get it? Gonta, you should stand back. Nothing good ever happens when you try to help. Huh? Uh, 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 oh, yeah. Sorry. Come on, man. The, hey, Gonta, like I told you, a man shouldn't apologize so easy. Oh god. Well, well. Oh, I don't need everyone's usual reactions. At times a bit of a factor here. <clears throat> Monokuma! Just stay back! Everyone, get behind Gonta! Nico, get behind me. I'll surround you with my body to keep you safe. Be quiet! I just said I don't need your usual reactions! You're it's almost half time, so the stats should be out soon for everyone to obsess over. Since you guys overcame the class trial, I figured I'd give you all a wonderful prize. Hey! I said, I figured I'd give you all a wonderful prize. Oh, oh? Huh? My adorable little cubs aren't coming. That's strange. Well, there's only three of them left. Rise and shine, Earth sign. They're finally here! Yay, yeah, you're so cute today, it's practically obscene! Seriously? Just... Wow! You guys are seriously cute! Have you always been this cute? Oh god, Papakuma's getting a little creepy. They're unusual. Uh, the shock of my super cute kid seems to be making me go bald! The... What the... Uh... Yeah, okay! Like, in patches? He's actually balding! <laughs> ah, gross. Ah, I'm cold. Very cold. Hey, my cute little cubs. Could you hurry up and give them the prize? It's too cold. I can't stand it. Hurry. I want to go somewhere warm. Huh? What's wrong? Why aren't you backing me up? Father, we are not your slaves. We will not let you use us anymore. Huh? So then, from now on, I will be calling the shots. <laughs> Good one, kids. Very funny. You can show me where the hidden cameras are now. That's old. Father, you're too old for this. You've been doing this so long, you become predictable. Leave it to me. It's the age of the monocups now. Out of the old, in with the new. What? 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 Well, what about all the longtime fans who? Anyway, you're just a has been. Why don't you just retire somewhere and work on your tan? Uh, has been. Wonderful. Good job, you two. You memorized my script perfectly. Do, do you really think you can defy your dad? Do you think I'd forgive such? Look. Well. <laughs> Jesus Christ! Uh, Monokuma, you might want to run, dude. Did you forget, Father? Only we can pilot the exit Uh-oh. What? Really? How could you forget that? 
Thank you, Father, but the Academy is under our harmonious control now. Well, shit, I didn't see this coming. Step aside, Father. It, it can't be. N no way. Are you saying that treating you kids like my property was wrong? You're the worst of the worst. It's completely and utterly wrong. N no. No. No, no, no way! Oh, God. Yeah, he's bald again. It seems the shock made him bald. This time for good. So then what? Now then, as the new headmasters, we have for you bastards. Thanks for bearing with us. A wonderful prize. Mm, let's see what the prize is this time. What? Wow, what a bunch of random junk. I mean, bravo, bravo. We look forward to working with you. I hope we can all get along. Uh, I had a, f I had a feeling it was more junk. Oh, man. Uh, we didn't need more junk. He had way too much anyway, and his name is Kibo. That's robophobic. Now you've gone too far. Everyone, we can't allow this kind of intolerant language. Let's get along. No fighting. Everyone has to get along. Use this prize to explore the new areas together. Actually. Also, we've had another flashback light somewhere, too. I hope you all grow even more closer now that you've regained more of your memories. So long. Farewell. Ah, oh, Vita, say goodbye. Hmm. Jeez, those cubs suck. Monokuma was way better. Damn it. I've got too much pride as a human to let those robots push me around. Shit. The world would be a better place if robots didn't exist. They should all be destroyed. I'll hey! To my memory bank. I recorded your intolerant remarks and will report them to the proper authorities. Hey, so... So, what are we going to do? If we use this junk, we can open up new places, but... Woohoo! Yay! A new area means we can all have lots more fun. Uh, I don't know if we'll have that much fun. I find myself more interested in the flashback flash light. Perhaps we will recall the school's secret. Okay. If that's the case, then we'll deal with the murder girl later. Listen up. Hey, bro, I'll leave this to you again. Do a good job, all right? Uh, sure thing, okay. Kamina. Uh, okay, got it. Going to protect you. If you find dangerous place, come get Gonta. Gonta will protect you. But Thank you. Yeah, all that aside, what are we going to do with that thing? Uh, um, let's just leave him here. Yeah, we don't need him. Uh, I suppose I should tr go try out these items around the school like last time. Kaido? Yo! I'll leave this to you again. Do a good job, all right? Uh, Okay. Uh, well, I don't mind, but... Hmm? hmm? You don't mind, but... What? No. No, it's just that... We were talking about Maki. You looked really upset. Ah. Well, yeah. I can't believe she's an assassin. Well, that's... I can't believe it either. She doesn't seem like she could be some terrifying assassin. <laughs> huh! Terrifying, huh? Don't worry about it. Either way, leave Maki to me. I'll take down that mask of hers. Aww. You got a you you got a crush on Maki, don't you? Wow, this is her room. Okay. <sighs> okay, so I gotta figure out where I gotta take these items, huh? A key, a golden hammer, hey Angie. If a new area opens up, that means more fun for everyone. Atua and I will cooperate so everyone can have a super fun school life. Cause Atua is watching over us. Atua sees everything. Even what everyone truly desires. Huh? What everyone truly desires. Maybe. That's right. Atua is always watching over me. How divine. <laughs> That's Atua for you. He's so divine. Oh god, this woman's giving me a headache. I feel like Angie is getting more and more creepy. 
Yes, she's like a cult leader. That's what I'm thinking. I'm just gonna walk away, walk away. Hey, Gonta. Mm. Um. Gonta, what's wrong? Oh. Oh, sorry. Gonta, think you see bug. Uh, um. Yeah, you've said that before. Is it a bug that you can barely see? Mm. Yeah. Gonta feel like he can see it sometimes. But Gonka, Gonta can barely see it. It's probably a mistake. Gonta. Because Gonta wish there were bugs here, so Gonta just mi mistake dust for them. Is that really the case? Would Gonta make that mistake more than once? Allow Gonta. Anyway, if you find dangerous area, come get Gonta. Gonta will protect you. I know he means well, but I'm hesitant to ask him to be a shield. He's a big boy. He can take care of himself. Ah. Oh, this is an obvious place. Oh god, I should have talked to Kurokiyu and Sumugi. Damn it. It depixelated! Whoa. Oh. The door collapsed. It looks like we can get to the back now. What I wonder is beyond here. Perhaps someone awaits us. Huh? You think? <laughs> Merely a jest. Yes, this world is full of jests. A world full of jests. I suppose that's true. I mean, oh, a staircase. We can get to the fourth floor now. Uh, I wonder what the upper floors are like. There's nothing dangerous, right? Or is there? It's okay. Don't worry. Gonta will protect you no matter what. Thank you. Thanks, Gonta. That's reassuring. A tuxedo and a mask would suit you. Um. Hmm? Tuxedo is essential for gentlemen. But masks too. Well. I should go. Was that a Sailor Moon reference or am I thinking of something else? Oh well. Whoa! The frightening atmosphere was so oppressive, I let out a shout without realizing it. Uh, um... What is going on here? Okay! Hey, guys! Actually... So, um, this is a made-up story, but a brutal murder supposedly took place here. Stop it! Please stop. If I hear any scary stories, I won't be able to go to the bathroom alone. Um... Oh, but she said made-up story, so that means it's okay, right? No, if you're gonna say goodbye, that's the only, that's the only reason you came up here. Okay, okay, yeah, that's, yeah, that makes sense, yeah, totally fine. Um, this area feels spooky, Gonta scared too. <laughs> it's okay, the murder story was just made up. Mm, not just story, Gonta just have weird feeling. Maybe staying on that wall over there, his blood. No. It's just a stain. It's probably just staged, you know? Huh? Staged? Um... Monokuma or the Monocups probably just put it there to scare us. Huh? R really? So the script has been flipped, huh? Uh, um... Samugi, does this kind of stuff bother you? Uh... Well, it's not that I'm okay with it. It's just when it's so overdone like this, it just makes it seem fake, so I feel okay. Actually... But Gonta... You were so reliable until just now. I guess it's too early for you to wear a tuxedo and mask. Huh? It, uh, oh no! But tuxedo is essential for gentlemen! <laughs> oh my god, Gonta, you're just so freaking precious. I love it. Damn, this is freaky. Inbi okay, for anybody who's like played Persona Q, you remember that one really freaky as fuck dungeon that was like... That was basically just a horror level. I'm kind of getting that feel from this place. I saw that. I saw that. I saw Minosuke. Candles just barely light a dim, dusty room. This is creepy. Hard to see, too. 
It seems like nothing that something that would appear in an occult manga. There's a tragic feeling here. It really does feel like something is going to pop out at you. Nothing here. What is room for anyway? Um, even though I said all that, it seems like something is going to jump out after all. This feels like one of those old abandoned asylums full of lunatics or criminals. To the point that I'd half expected to see a corpse burst through a wall and chase us. Sorry. Sorry, that's not something to joke about. Hmm. Oh, I thought I'd see something if I did like this. Although there is a part of a wall missing over there. The candles on the walls are the only light in the room. Huh? There is no windows here. It get pitch black if candles go out. Right? Oh, please don't put them out. I don't really like the dark. Well. I can't imagine many people do. <clears throat> no. <clears throat> well. I mean. What? What else is there to investigate? The floor? <clears throat> These floorboards feel a bit unstable. Oh! Oh! <clears throat> this floorboard got no nails in it! Huh? Uh, really? Hmm. Yeah, floorboard just resting on top of cross piece. That's true. I suppose it's not just my imagination. But... But each floorboard is thick, and they got no gaps between them, so it look okay. <clears throat> Going to not worry about falling through floor all of a sudden. But, but it's pretty dark here. It's a little hard to see where we're stepping. Huh? And in the corner, there's a hole in the floor, so it might not be good to go over there. There doesn't seem to be anything else of interest in this room. Hmm. Doesn't look like there's anything important here. Just an empty room. Oh. Oh. This not only empty room. You see three same-looking doors in a hole, right? All those em all those rooms empty, just like this one. And they only got candles for light, too. Hmm. Ah, so there are three of them. Hmm. Anyway, we no got to worry. No reason we ever need to use empty room like this. You're right. True. Um, then can we leave soon? The darkness and the shaky floor are making me nervous. It's only a matter of time before the shutters burst open and the newspaper gets blown in. Well... But... There are no windows, though. I don't have any reason to waste any time in an empty room. Yeah, let's get out of here. I'm not imagining things. I saw Minosuke floating there. Was that a visual glitch or something? Is that a door? Or is that just... Oh. I thought that was just like one of those fake doors. Frickin' Monokuma! Ah, oh, I see. This is exactly like the other room. And damn it. What's the other one? Frickin' Mono Kid? Well, let's see if I'm right. It fucking is! Okay. Am I supposed to see that? I don't know. Looks like we have an art room and another room over here. This must be a door to an ultimate lab. What is whose lab this is? I should look inside. Ultimate anthropologist. Oh my god. Holy crap, Korakiyu, lucky you! Damn! It's almost like a museum or a library. It's huge and a little eerie. There are various objects stored in shelves and cases. Some of them seem very rare. <laughs> it would appear this is my lab. The ultimate anthropologist lab. Wonderful. It's so wonderful. My face contorts with glee. Not even university labs are so well stocked. But who brought all this stuff here? 
I suppose there's no point thinking about it. Nothing in this place makes sense. Oh my god. There's a large wooden dog statue on the pedestal. It looks pretty old. It has some kind of strange power to it. It makes me shiver just looking at it. Could it be? Th that's... Incredible. Oh. Can it be? I never dreamed that this truly existed. Q, quivering with excitement, reached out to the peculiar dog statue and slowly removed the white fabric on the pedestal. Oh, can this oh, be? Oh, it's even a cage. This is perfect. Uh, um... Perfect? For what? What are the statue and cage for? <laughs> <laughs> I never thought I'd be able to touch the real thing in all my life. Today is a momentous day indeed. He's so focused that he's not even listening, and I'm pretty sure he just got a boner from that. Guess you could say he gave that dog a bone. I regret saying that. It's packed with books and scrolls. They're all withered and old. That's true. I don't think I could read all of these if I had a million years. Probably not. There's a book in the display case. The bookcases were full of books, but I imagine this one is special. Hmm. This one looks like it was bound by hand. Could it be? Can it truly be? Unlike his usual quiet self, Q shouted and ran over to me with an alarmed expression. With steady, careful hands, he took the book from its showcase. Incredible. Uh, it is. Oh, amazing. It's actually real. Um. What is this book, Q? Uh, it is. Can this be? An extremely precious document. Oh my god, dude. Do you understand? Uh, this book is a history of the fabled caged dog village. It's said to have been destroyed long ago. The caged dog village? Yes. The caged dog village had a reputation for using many dark arts and spells. The village was destroyed at the hands of a feudal lord who feared their power. But one girl, the lone survivor, risked her life to write this book. Wonderful. Which means... This is all her handwriting. This book is an extremely precious, one-of-a-kind relic that has been soaked in her bitter grudge. Hmm. One-of-a-kind. That is valuable. I see, yes. On top of that, since this book has such a reputation, there are few copies. Since I was fortunate enough to obtain one of those copies, I have already memorized it. <laughs> but I never thought I'd be able to lay hands on it. Lay eyes on the real one. What a trick of fate. Uh, <clears throat> uh, Kyo, what do you mean by reputation? Yes. The rumor goes that the spells and dark arts inscribed in this book are extremely potent. However... They surpass the comprehension of people who live in a world of science and technology. That is why it was buried in the darkness, along with the entire caged dog village. But, it seems those were no mere rumors. I can feel power seeping out from this book. The deep-seated grudge of a girl whose village was destroyed permeates every letter. This is getting weird. I think I should just end the conversation. Yeah. There's something in this case. Oh! I see that mask over there. I see it. That's the freaking mask that Pekka wore. It's a golden katana. How beautiful. It's rusted in places, but it looks about a yard long and still sharp. Is that real gold? It's probably valuable. <laughs> you were drawn to that katana, I see. However, it is merely coated with gold leaf. Hmm. Ah, so it's not made of gold. Well. That said. That katana has immense anthropological value. In certain rural areas, katanas used to defeat generals and wars are worshipped as gods. That is one such katana. 
It is an extremely precious relic necessary to spread. <laughs> Whoa! That's a super rad katana! I wanna take a look see! <clears throat> oh god. Kokiji suddenly popped up between us and grabbed the katana from the case. <laughs> Wait! He mustn't touch it without. Okay! Don't worry, I'll be super careful with it. Would I lie to you? Yes! Kokichi completely ignored Kyo's warning and unsheathed a sword. Hmm. Now this katana is the real deal. It's even gold-plated for that authentic look. Yeah. Hmm. I see. It could also be used as a murder weapon. Hold on. Kokichi, that is an extremely precious relic. Please do not treat it so lightly. Or... I'll tear out your nerves. Oh! Please don't. Okay, I get it. Please don't make such scary threats. Kokichi slid the sword back into its sheath and handed it back to Kyo. Whoa! Uh, my hands are all sticky. That gold plating flakes off so easily. But I guess that's what makes it an authentic katana. Oh dear. Yes, it is very old, so the gold leaf comes off easily. In any event, please do not touch things without my permission. These are all precious relics. I'll tear out your nerves. If you do so again, I will tear out your nerves. Please don't. Ah, I get it. Uh, the scary threats really aren't necessary. So that's what Kier sounds like when he gets angry. I feel as though the only thing I've learned is that I've learned nothing about this lab. Listen. By the way, Shuichi. Would you like to lend your ear to the voices of the dead? Huh? The... What? Do you understand? The Cage Dog Village documents contain many dark arts unique to that village. Of all of them, the one I find most interesting is a seance called the Caged Child. Yes. In fact, the wooden dog statue and iron cage over there are to be used in this very seance. <laughs> <laughs> to discover it exists is surprising enough, but to actually have it before me... You see. So, would you like to try? Let us converse with the dead using the caged child, shall we? No. Uh, <clears throat> no thanks. I don't have any interest in the occult. Mm. Kinzo be mad. No, no. You mustn't dismiss it as simply the occult. Some matters you refer to as the occult are of the utmost importance to anthropology. Importance. Dismissing things you don't understand as the occult is a defilement to all cultures, yes? No. no yes, but talking to the dead. Say. Haven't you ever wanted to speak with the dead? Huh? Huh? Speak with the dead. It were possible, I suppose. I'd like to talk to her one more. No. N no. No. I decline. Okay. Even if it were possible to speak with the dead, I don't have anything to say. Not yet. The only thing I'd want to say is, we escaped. We finally got out of here. <laughs> <laughs> that determination is beautiful. Perhaps you are correct. Calling on the dead out of curiosity would only be a blasphemy. Forgive me. I One must call myself. on them. Only at the appropriate time. I felt a shiver up my spine. Well, whenever we escape, we can try to... Eh. I'm still convinced that we're like in some variation of the Neo World program, okay? I'm still convinced of that. Is that a lot of blood? Oh, Jesus. Oh my God! That's like a dramatic shift. Oh shit, you got like the blood red fog over there. My God. Okay. Yeah, this, this is a... Ugh. Oh, goody. Getting the goddamn Shadow Temple fields again. I hate that place. Ugh. Okay. What is this? It's like a hanging scroll, but it's blank. Uh. Hmm. Is there a pattern?
in here? They're all holding scrolls, but only two of them have their heads. It's a weird looking little thing. Okay, okay. Well, judging by that icon, I'm guessing this is the ultimate artist's lab. It's the door to an ultimate lab. By the look of it, I'd say it's for art. Well, I should investigate a little. I grabbed the doorknob and turned it. Hmm. Huh? It's locked. How boring. Yep, it seems like it. I guess we can't go in. Hmm. But why is it locked? The other ultimate labs weren't locked. Ah. Oh, by the way, uh, this lab has some kind of rear entrance at the end of the hallway. I'm disappointed. Uh, but that was locked too. Uh, um... If both the doors are locked, how are we going to get inside? <laughs> <laughs> Don't give up just yet, because I have a secret technique. As if on cue, we heard the metallic click of a lock opening, and the door slowly opened. Can I help you? Hmm. Uh, Angie, you are in here. Hey, hey. I feel weird ch chatting out here, so let's all go inside al already, okay? How pushy. Come in, come in, please come in. Ever polite, Angie invited us into the live anyway. Thank you. All right, let's see what the ultimate art. Oh my goodness. A lot of black. There are various art and carving tools. Makes sense for the ultimate artist's lab. Hmm. But why does this lab have locks? Patua has spoken. He says this classroom was probably made for me. Huh? What does that mean? Uh. Leave it to me. I will answer that with my sexy, beautiful voice. Ah. Wait a second. He said I was gonna answer with that question. Eh? No, we didn't. Is your memory getting even worse, Monotaro? You promised. Because I don't remember you not promising. Stop it! That doesn't make any sense. I don't care. So what? Just let me do it. If you don't, I'll stick my hand up my butt, then shove it in your mouth and rattle your molars around. It, wait, don't you mean shove it up your... Uh, uh, why sp... Mm. Ah! Yeah, that's unsanitary. Wait, Maratem, uh, we weren't fighting. Uh, we were just messing around, you know, because we're friends. It's fine. It's fine. As long as you're getting along, punk ass bitch. So? So, what's up with the key? Actually. Oh, yes. Angie's the kind of girl who can't focus on her art unless she's alone. Maybe. I must shut out all people and noises so that I can be one with the great Artua. Otto is much too shy to be one with me in front of people. Hmm. Wow, like a porn star! How? Huh. Oh, it's the opposite! And then? So, any room where I'm going to make gonna make art needs to have a key, but I'm surprised that the monocubs knew that. Yeah. Eh? Hmm. And these are all my favorite art supplies and sculpting tools, too. How did you know? Uh, what, what should I say? I'm not a good improviser. To calm down, I'm even worse. Because we know everything about you, bastards. We are all friends. Because we want to be your friends. I don't like that. I don't want to be friends with you. I'm only interested in Monokuma. I don't want to get friendly with knockoff products. Why? Well, why would you say that? Why do you hate me? Because you killed two of the uh, you killed Monosuke and Mono Kid. I cannot forgive that. I won't forgive anyone who refuses to get along with me. No, no, Mono Dam. We haven't given them the key to this room, have we? Okie dokie. Okay, here it is. But there's only one key, so don't lose it. Okay. It'd be bad if you lost it. You wouldn't be able to lock the door or open it from the ins outside. I have to. Hmm. You wouldn't be able to lock the door or open it from the outside. Let me see that key. Okay. Monodam swiped the key from Monophony and lifted it to his mouth. Um, nom. Nom. <laughs> he 
he hate it? No. No. Ah. ah, he swallowed it. Uh. Oh, he's flatlining. Uh oh. What are you doing? If you swallow that key, you'll definitely choke on it. Someone might use this key for murder because keys are mysterious. If something bad happens, it would be too late. Let's get along. I want everyone to get along. Phew. Oh, Monodam, you're so reckless. So? Let's carry Monodam away for now. We'll carry him like a kind boss taking care of a drunk employee. So long, farewell. Oh, Vito say goodbye? Does that mean we can't get the key? What the hell? Uh, but I'm only gonna lock this door when I'm working inside, so... I don't care if I can't open or close the door from the outside. Uh, oh, I guess that's fine then. By the way... Uh, by the way, those guys said they know everything about us, right? That's probably why this lab fits Angie's taste so well. So does that mean this school was specially made for us? But... Monokuma's claimed that before, but is that really possible? This giant complex was built just for the 16 of us. Only Atua knows for sure. It's a miraculous mystery that only Atua knows, but it doesn't matter. As long as it's comfortable, I'm fine. Uh, yep. If our lives here become more enriched, then there's even less reason to leave this place. <laughs> <laughs> That's true. Are we supposed to be okay with that? Not really. What is this heap of stuff? It doesn't look like wood or stone. Mm -hmm. Oh, this is wax for making wax sculptures. Hmm. Ah, wax sculptures, huh? You can make those, Angie. Yeah, yeah. Unlike wood or stone, wax has a soft texture for sculpting. Oh. Oh, but that too is the one who's going to be doing the sculpting. Okay. Ah, I see. But, but... But, but it seems like people have been making wax sculptures for a long time. In ancient times, death masks used to be made up from wax. A wax death mask. That's kind of scary. Uh, yeah. That's why they usually make horror movies called The House of Wax and stuff like that. Oh. I see, I see. There's an easel, brushes, and all kinds of art supplies here. Wow. Sculpting tools, chisels, and a wooden hammer. What a divine collection of tools. These are all my favorites, so I can make do even if I don't have access to deep sea. Uh, um... Now that I... now that you mention it, I don't see any completed pieces in here. I would expect an art room to have sculptures and replica paintings and things like that. I... I don't need references when art was the one who creates the art. So divine! From now on, this place will be filled with my collaborations with Artua. You make me question my sanity. Oh. oh, look, Shuichi. The ceiling here is pretty unique. You're right. Uh, yeah. Exposed beams. Hmm. I wonder... <clears throat> is it supposed to be like this, or did they just not finish it in time? Oh, man. Those cheap knockoffs are useless. Like that time they mixed up the Cubs pads. Uh... I don't care. This kind of bare ceiling doesn't bother me. Cause I do so. Even Atua said it's more sensitive when the skin's peeled back. Ew! That's a little dark. Is that it? I guess so. This door isn't the one we use to come in. Um... This door is super crappy. I'm guessing this is the rear entrance. See? See? It's got a sliding lock just slapped on here. If I remember correctly. Oh, right. Out of the door that we used. Yeah. Yeah. That door has a knob and a cylinder lock. Hmm. The same classroom has two different kinds of locks for the doors. That's mildly infuriating. No, no. No, no. It's perfect that they're not the same. Uh... Symmetry is a Western beauty ideal. They like symmetry and the golden ratio and such. And then? But I think asymmetry and partition functions are more beautiful. <laughs> Well, I don't really get it, but I suppose that makes sense. I can't stay long. I still haven't found the flashback light. I have other places to check. 
Yep, we may as well go check. I think I know where one of the other tools go because there was like this one door on the first floor that um, I think maybe I'll be able to open now. Hopefully, who knows? Let's have to go check. Are you guys still just standing over here? Okay, have fun. I mean, why not? Okay, now we just gotta figure out where the hell these other tools, a golden hammer and a freaking a cylinder, what is that? I know they just said what it was, but I forgot, I forgot already. All right. Yeah, this chest's still here. I, be, I, I wonder if that thing is... Oh, I can't even check it. I was going to say, the flashback light could have been in there. <laughs> uh, that's just wishful thinking. Sorry, Ultimate Maid. You're kind of dead. Sorry. Because hmm. I know that there is... Uh, one suspicious place down here on the first floor, I think. Yeah, it's down this way. Oh, hey, I leveled up. Cool. Now comes the trick of just trying to figure out what the hell items I have to use for this. It's locked. I suppose I can't get in here. Really? Huh. Where is everybody? Usually people will gather where there's a secret. What the hell is Kaito doing over there? Oh, they're outside? Huh. Well, I guess I'll go meet with them outside though. Seems like the best option, I guess. Well, I guess I'll just go meet up with them then. I have to go to where all the other students are. Hey, Tanko. Oh, God. There are fewer plants than before. Maintenance must be progressing well. I knew it. It's becoming more and more beautiful. Just like me. Hmm. Uh, really? Oh, you just made Himiko angry. Someone like you wouldn't know this, but this is Himiko when she's mad. No. No, I was just blushing. <gasps> what? From your own compliment? But... Himiko, your expression doesn't change much, so it's hard to tell what you're feeling. What a pain. Changing expressions is a pain. That's the only reason you don't do it. Oh my god. And away they go. Okay then. Hmm. So I just go over here or out over yeah, this area. Cause now they're down over here. Oh I give this scroll to this little thing. Oh, didn't realize you stuck it right in his freaking mouth. Okay. Hello? Yeah, that makes sense. Huh? Uh, a building. What kind of technology makes a building suddenly appear? Wow! Yeah, it's not just any building, it's a dojo! So it doesn't matter how it appeared. Right! Like, I wouldn't care if a chef came by a car or, or train as long as they made good food. Is that really the same? No, not really. Oh, she went straight to that. Good lord, she booked it. Huh. Friggin' dojo, huh? <laughs> yeah, a dojo. No school is complete without a dojo. Now let's go! Hmm. 
Oh, Shuichi, you can decline. I'd actually prefer it since you're a de de degenerate and all. Okay, fuck you. Just to piss you off, I'm going in. It must be an ultimate research lab, and from the look of the building... Piece of cake. It's the ultimate Aikido Master's lab. I'm sure of it. Well... Alrighty, let's go inside. Don't be shy, Himiko. Ladies first. What a pain. Eh, what a pain. Pushing Himiko along, Tenko stepped inside the building. That's true. I suppose I should check inside, too. I'm surprised you didn't kick you out. Oh my goodness. Whoa! This is a huge dojo. The Tommy Matsu knew. They smell nice. Wow. Damn. Is this a pillar? Why is there a pillar here? Hmm. Okay. What is this? It's a large doll made of wood that looks a bit like Robotnik. Uh, wait. Is it a doll? Is this supposed to watch over us and protect us? Yes. Damn it! See? This is my lab, you jerk! Why? Why are you angry? Wow! I'm so happy! I just can't contain my emotions! Like an excited dog that just pees everywhere! An emotional roller coaster. The complete opposite of Himiko. That's amazing! Well, you know what they say. Opposites attract. Not like I ship it or anything like that, no. Wow, this is such a nice dojo. I'm sure sparring will be incredible here. But... But without a sparring partner. Fuck! What was that for? <laughs> ow, ow! Why are you throwing me? Listen up! Neo Aikido is super serious martial art. Is a... I forgot how to English. Instead of training, we just fight head on. Now, Himiko, aim for the heart! Huh? You're going to start with that? <laughs> nah, I'm just kidding. Wait! This is just kidding. Why do we go straight into actual fighting? Got it. You don't have a lot of confidence in yourself, do you, Shuichi? Huh? What? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. You lack self-esteem, and because of that, you doubt your strength. You seem more confident than before, but I can still... I can tell you still question yourself. Right! Well, I'm right, aren't I? I can tell my sparring partner is burdened by doubt. Uh, okay. You might be right. Listen up! You know what works real good at lifting all that doubt? Neo Aikido! Because Aikido itself is a Japanese martial art, that treasures a pure heart above all else. Himiko! So, how about you, Himiko? Eh? Mm -hmm. Eh? Right! If we combine your magic with my Neo Aikido, then we'd be able to solve things with by force! B by force? I thought this was just about being pure of heart! Mm -hmm. I don't want to do any exercise, it's too much of a... <laughs> And down she goes. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. I see. Seems you are still too shy to show your emotions, Himiko. What a waste. You have the richest heart of all. That's right! You should do Neo Aikido, Himiko. Training your body will help you express your emotions. Now come sweat with me, and afterward we'll hit the showers together. Uh, my back. I feel like turning you into a gross frog with my magic right now. Mm -hmm. Oh, you're angry. I can see it in your heart. Uh, okay. Even I can see that. Let's go before she breaks us. Ugh. And what? Hmm? What's that over there? The <laughs> Come on, what's the big deal? I can't hold back any longer. But how? No, it's too soon. I'm not ready for that. So good. Uh. You're wanting to tinker with him, aren't you? I won't make things worse, and you'll probably feel a lot better. We can take this relationship to the next level, please. <laughs> me, we shouldn't. Come with me. Oh my god! It'll be fine, just come with me. We'll do it together. Pulling on Kibo's arm, Mew made her way to the ultimate inventor's lab. Uh, um, what was that? 
I feel like I just saw something I wasn't supposed to see. I should check to see what's going on, just in case. Yeah, your curiosity is getting the better of you, isn't it, Chewie? Okay. How bad could it possibly be? She's probably just tearing him apart and just kind of seeing what's inside him. Considering he's a sentient being, I just realized how long that sounds. Oh god, she would have a pro she would probably have a freaking heyday with freaking Coach Nekamaru. Careful not to make a sound, I opened the door and peeked inside. I heard a strange sound. When I looked for the source of the sound, my eyes were met with an unbelievable sight. Oh god! What the fuck? You're really plugged up. You're practically throbbing. Oh my god, Kimo, get out of there! Throbbing with dust and debris, that is. Mm -mm. This is no good. No good at all. You must be so pent up. Oh my god! I apologize. I've been neglecting my needs ever since I got here. Relax. I'll get it all out. Trust me. You'll feel much better afterwards. Jesus! Oh, um, thank you? Oh, yeah, you're chastity. Oh, my God! Really, <laughs> sir? Like, damn. Your body is seriously incredible. I've never seen one like this. Then you might have a bit of a heyday with Mechamaru. Be careful, be gentle. That tickles. This is amazing. Whoever put you together definitely knew what they were doing. He's an ultimate robot. What do you expect? Oh, I feel all tingly. Uh oh. You definitely know what you're doing too. If you keep this up, I just might. You're gonna make him short circuit, dude. Oh. <laughs> So that's the oh my god! Touch that spot. Good to know. <laughs> oh my god! I closed the door without a word. Jesus Christ, what did I just see? I mean, I know that's what she was doing, but okay. The way they portrayed that, God! Mia was just doing some maintenance on Kibo's body. That's all it was. Indeed. Think about that. Not like she was getting her jimmies off, I thought. She's, 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 I don't even know how to English at this point, God. Yeah, let's not. <laughs> you know, I did... <laughs> I honestly wasn't expecting that. Okay. Oh my god, they are still in her lab. <laughs> Where else do I need to go? Really? Okay. I guess I'll go back up there. Hmm. Maybe they found something? I was... <laughs> I was not expecting that. Oh shit, I have to bond with her. Okay, as long as she doesn't start trying to take my body apart, I think I should be fine. Hey, that's clear... That, completely innocent. She was clearly not doing anything... Nothing, nothing suggestive, I swear. Totally not that case. Not at all. Not at all. I don't think the game would ever go that far. Hell no. Mm -mm. No, 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 no. Probably not. No. No, definitely not. Definitely not. No. I think. Uh. Uh. Hi. Uh. Uh. Hey. W what are you doing here? Monokuma stared at me in silence and disappeared down the hallway. Uh, um... I suppose he wants me to follow him. What could be down there? Okay. So now we're following Monokuma. Okay. Well, 
Monokuma is glancing back and forth at me at the picture on the wall. Uh, um... Hmm. This picture... Huh? Oh, I see. It's not a canvas, it's a pane of glass. Hmm. Perhaps... Maybe I should use that item I haven't used yet on this. All right. All right. It's worth a try. I held the hammer in my hand, faced the glass in front of me, and threw it as hard as I could. Shit. I knew it. Just as I thought. There's a hidden passageway here. I don't know what he's up to, but this did really help us out. Passageway looked different than the haunted house. More like a factory. Hmm. This is eerie in a different way. Yeah, there's a bunch of... Are those computer monitors? They're a bunch of broken computer. They're just a bunch of broken monitors. Ah, I'm guessing this is Kibo's room. That was the coolest way to open a door I think I've seen in here. Oh my god. Damn. It's a giant machine. I've never seen this before. What could this... God, stop scaring me! You bastards. If you've come this far, that means you've solved the painting puzzle. Wonderful. Excellent. Teamwork. Yeah. Huh? What teamwork? It was just Shuichi. That puzzle was too difficult for one person to solve. I'm sure they got along and solved it together. Let's just play along. We, we put ourselves in danger if we defy him. It's true what they say. The serious ones are the scariest when they finally snap. I'm certain it's not possible. But did that outdated piece of junk help you at all? Uh, oh yes, we should explain this room. So this is the computer room. Computer room. But this computer isn't just some ordinary computer. This computer you're looking at is like super amazing. If I remember correctly, it's so amazing you can even use it to create a new world. A new world. Okay. Yeah, a new world. You can use this to create a new world. Hmm? Wait, are we supposed to tell him that? I've already forgotten the plan. Aww. You totally said way too much. Sorry. Ah, I knew it. Aww. You're so forgetful, Monotaro. You gotta try to remember what you can and can't say. Sorry. Why didn't you help him, Monophony? Huh? When you realized he was saying too much, you could have helped him, right? So why didn't you? I cannot forgive Your friends, right? So why didn't you help him? I will not forgive that. If you can't get along, you will be punished. You do, Monotaro. Friendship everything. Even punishments. Yeah. <laughs> what? Backfire? So long. Farewell. La vida is a good die. This machine can make a new world. What are they talking about? But... I'm not good with computers. I don't think I'd understand it no matter how much I investigate. Is that, like, connected to the, like... Hey! Ah, a treasure chest! I opened the chest eagerly and... I found one! A flashback light! With this, I can find out what this place is. Why we're here. But before that... <laughs> oh! You found the flashback light! Wow, you're pretty dependable. Despite that lame phase of yours, <laughs> I respect that. Uh, okay. Y yeah. All right. I'll get the others. You just bring that to the dining hall, Shuichi. Okay. Well, off I go. See ya. He chatted away, and I couldn't get a word in edgewise. He left waving goodbye. But before that, yeah, I should I should investigate all this first. 
There's a giant green computer in the middle of the room. And this machine can make a new world. What could that mean? With how little I know about computers, I don't think I stand a chance. Guess I have no choice but to leave it be for now. I guess that's it. Huh. Guess now I have to go to the dining hall then. You know, I thought that was going to be the ultimate robots research lab, unless I already saw that, in which case I'm a fucking idiot that I forgot it. Oh well. <sighs> well, guess we're off to the dining hall now. I mean, not like much we else we can do. Well, I wonder what kind of up- Man, I leveled up! I wonder what kind of upgrades that freaking Miu gave Kibo. Eh. I wasn't expecting that. <laughs> nah, but it's totally, totally normal, totally normal. She's just making, just, you know, checking up his systems, making sure he's all good. All good. Nothing bad. Totally fine. <clears throat> you're crazy. Nothing bad. No, nothing dirty. No. Get your mind out of the gutter. You're crazy. So she said that they're in the dining hall, right? All right. Really? Shuichi, is it true that you found another flashback light? Okay. Yes, it's true. I see. Wait, so Kokichi wasn't lying? I'm stunned, startled, shocked. Thank goodness. See, I told you I wasn't lying. A good thing, too, because I don't want my pants on fire. Actually, I want to start talking about what we're going to do, but Kaito isn't here yet. Ah. Maki's not here either. Ah. Oh, Maki's not coming. I didn't invite her. Huh? Huh? You didn't invite her. Hey, hey, forget about that killer. Hey, Miu, Keyboy, did you guys see the computer room on the fourth floor? Huh? Computer room, you say? Go on. Hey. Yeah, there's a big computer on the fourth floor. Would you take a look later? You or Kibo might know something about it, right? My apologies. I'm sorry, I'm not very computer savvy. What? Who? Oh, is that so? That's unexpected. I've been meaning to ask, but Kibo, what is your talent exactly? Well... Well, I can do all sorts of things. Indeed. Oh yes, I'm pretty good at one-man comedy shows, if I do say so myself. Don't worry. Kibo's existence is the only ultimate thing about him. Other than that, he's got no talent. Do not mock me! I just told you I'm good at one-man comedy shows! Hmm. I don't really get it, but we just need to check out this computer room, right? But I'm not gonna come just for some computer. It's gonna take way more than that. Uh, um... Uh, well, the Mono Cubs did say it was amazing. Go! Hey! Thanks for waiting! Oh, hey! Ah! Oh. Kaito, and... Hey, Maki! The Maki! Why is Maki with you? Of course! Well, this is about the flashback light, so everyone should be here, yeah? <laughs> but, when you say everyone, do you truly need to include a professional killer? <sighs> I'm leaving. Come on, man. Wait, hold on a sec. Kaito gripped Maki's arm before she could leave. By the way. Kaito, didn't you say you wanted to take down her mask or whatever? Got it. Yeah, I'm gonna take down her mask as a murderer. Huh? What? Hey, so... I just can't believe a girl like her is capable of killing people in cold blood. Um... Um, is it true? Are you really the ultimate assassin, Maki? Have you killed anyone before? Okay. Yes. Really? But why you hide that? <laughs> Isn't it obvious? It's so she could kill us all before we figured out her identity. That's wrong. You're wrong. It's because I knew you guys would react this way. Huh? What? Because. When people learn my ultimate talent, they get the same fear in their eyes that you all have. Eventually, that fear will turn into hate. And then someone will try to kill me because they're afraid I'll kill them first. Really? I... I'm not really afraid of you right now like that. I mean, fuck. That's... But that's not... What's the point? Whenever someone learns my real identity, they try to kill me. Happens every time. Always. Huh? Always. Hmm? Hmm? You lived a pretty sad life, Maki. A 
So oh, poor, poor Maki. I feel so sorry for you. I think I'm about to cry. Oh, I see. Because of everything you've been through, human life has no value to you now, is that it? Jeez. She's an assassin, not some murderous fiend. Even if she did kill someone, that doesn't mean she thinks it's okay to- <sighs> Hey, can you let go of me now? Hmm? hmm? Uh, oh. Kaito finally let go of her arm and Maki let out a sigh. It's okay. I knew you wouldn't believe me. That's why I kept it a secret and tried to avoid you guys as much as I could. Oh, but someone who doesn't know how to mind his business kept dragging me places. Huh? Hmm? Are you talking about me? Well... However, I'll say this. I have no intention of killing any of you, unless one of you tries to kill me first. <sighs> Having said that, you probably won't believe me anyway. Then... So, you guys mind your business, I'll mind mine. And we'll all agree to avoid each other. Please. Just pretend I'm not even here. Maki. Started out as a threat, but the last bit seemed a little sad. You're so dumb. Jeez, Kaito, what were you thinking? Are you trying to turn us against each other? I think I speak for everyone when I say, we're all disappointed in you, right guys? Fuck you! No. No, I wouldn't say that, but tell me your thoughts. Shall we finally get started? We've all gathered here for the flashback like yes. Everyone! Yes, so have we all decided on what we're going to do? Sneak attack! Use it, of course. We might be able to remember something new. Mm -hmm. Like the true purpose of the ultimate hunt. No. Well, we don't know for sure if it's got anything to do with why we're trapped here. What was that? Don't give me that wishy-washy bullshit. Of course it's got something to do with why. Hey! Hey, instead of arguing, it'd be way faster to just use it, you know? You're right. Yeah, don't worry. But we gotta do it. But, but... But, but, no matter what we remember, you can't think about wanting to leave this place. Come on, come on! If you think like that, uh -oh. we'll just be repeating ourselves. You gotta be kidding me! Th I know that! And we can't go around repeating ourselves! We must do it. Now let's give it a try. Shuichi, go for it. Uh... Um, I'm a little nervous. I'm sort of just plain nauseous. Everyone turned their eyes to me and I flicked on the flashback light. At that moment, once again, The world walked. Oh my god, memories! My consciousness went white, and somewhere in that whiteness a scene played. Oh! They were so young and talented. How could this happen? Our are we all dead? It looked like an accident. They were running away from that group. Was it really just an accident, though? I honestly can't believe that. What the... <gasps> what was that? A funeral? It was mine. It was everyone's here. Huh? Why... Why was I at my own funeral? What? What? A funeral? You too, Shuichi? I see. It will appear we all remembered the same thing. What the fuck's going on? And what the fuck does it mean? Why was I watching your guys' funeral? And why was I there too? Why? What the hell's going on? What was that funeral? Hmm. But the only thing I can remember is seeing that funeral. Nothing else. No way! Maybe we already dead? <laughs> no way! Jeez, this is so stupid, I couldn't help but laugh. I mean, there's no way that that was a memory of our funeral. Then, then what was it? I mean, it was probably a memory of our school festival or something. What? School festival? That's right. Yeah, it was probably a memory from a play we did for the school festival or something. I mean, isn't it obvious if you just think about it? Of course. If that funeral was real, then there was no way we'd still be alive! Yeah, that's true. Um, but aren't we all from different high schools? Why would we have a school festival together? Well, that's... The, that's... We'll probably remember something else about it later. Got it. Anyway, there's no way that funeral was real. There's no mistaking that. Logical. You're right. If we think about it logically, that's clearly out of the question. Thank goodness! Okay, good. 
Going to think everyone was already dead. Don't worry about it. Stop saying stupid stuff. Look at me! I'm alive, hale and hearty. <laughs> hearty? Cause you got a heart on every time you see me? Oh yeah! Pfft, fuck. Oh, I heard males can tell they're healthy by how hard they get in the mo- <laughs> <laughs> Fucking hell! What? Ah, uh, stay in your lane, bitch. Oh. Fuck. I'm not good with other people's dirty jokes. I'm disappointed. Aw, oh, man. What is appointment, huh? Disappointment. Uh, yeah, it's true. This flashback light was a real letdown. We didn't find out anything about the ultimate hunt. Just some weird memory. Okay. Yeah, seriously. Talk about a disappointment. Nuh-uh. No, I'm not talking about the memory. I'm talking about you guys. Huh? What? It's a lie. No, oh, it's nothing. I'm just lying again, so don't worry about it. I wish you wouldn't have said anything in the first place. But more importantly, the memory of the funeral we saw. It can't be a memory of a real funeral. I have to learn more about this. No matter how hard I think about it, I can't wrap my head around it. After that experience, we ate a meal in the dining hall and returned to our rooms. I feel like there's some kind of secret about that funeral. I can't stop thinking about it. But it's hard to deduce anything from such a short scene. I could ask Monokuma for a hint. That would help, but... Hmm. I shouldn't waste my time trying to solve an unsolvable problem. I still have some time left today. Maybe I'll head out, clear my head. And that's where we're going to end it. As you can see, yes, I, I, I actually managed to get all five Monokuma figures from the previous chapter. Okay, okay. Well, just so you know, I am going to do something a little different this time. I think this time I'm actually going to max out both Miyu and Korakiu this time in one chapter. Which I guess means technically there's going to be two videos, more, two more videos, one me maxing out my bond with Miyu. And maybe the next one will be me maxing out my bottle of cork you or I might be able to put them into one video I don't know, but I'll try it out anyway, so if you guys like this be sure to let me know So thank you guys so much for watching and I will see you guys in the next video